to my new toys. Today I'm extremely excited to be reviewing my very own 3D printed landing gear for the Tarantula XX quadcopter, as well as 30 degree camera mount for the Xiaomi YI camera. Let's take a look. The replacement landing gear for the Tarantula XX quadcopter was printed on the DaVinci 1.0 3D printer. Its print time was under two hours and its build dimensions are roughly 170 millimeters wide by 120 millimeters deep and 90 millimeters high. Even printed at 10% infill, the four rails should fill in solid depending on your slicer settings, which makes it for such a strong construction. Designed to fit right onto the Tarantula X6 with no sanding or preparation required, it fits over the slots on the bottom for the current stock landing gear and already has the four screw holes designed in the model. The only tool needed is the screwdriver that came with the quadcopter and the four screws holding on the existing landing gear. To attach the new landing gear, simply remove the screws holding on the stock landing gear and place them aside. Next, place the newly 3D printing landing gear over the slots on the bottom of the tarantula and attach the landing gear using the four screws that came off the stock landing gear. Now let's take a look at the Xiaomi YI 30 degree camera mount. Print time was just over one hour and the build dimensions are roughly 65 millimeters wide by 45 millimeters deep and 25 millimeters high. To attach the camera mount, you will need Velcro, preferably with glue on the back side at least 230 millimeters long, two zip ties, an old prepaid gift card, the four screws that came with the tarantula to mount the stock camera, foam to reduce vibrations, I'm just using a non-slip kitchen mat. The tools you will need, push pins, a hammer, marker, screwdriver, scissors, and wire cutters. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to require is the battery door. Now we're going to take that gift card and we're going to cut it down, but large enough to cover the four posts on the battery door. Take the Sharpie and color the top four posts on the battery door. Center the gift card and press firmly on the back to get the impression of the four holes. Take the push pin and hammer and punch out the centers of the four marker impressions. And use the four screws to attach the gift card to the battery door. Next, take the Velcro and adhere it back to back and cut it down to size to fit the slot on the camera mount. Then slide it into the groove. Pre-bend the zip ties to make it easier to attach to the gift card. Use the foam as a layer between the camera mount and the gift card. Cut the foam to size and build up a few layers to reduce vibration. String the zip ties through and tighten them. Not too tight as you don't want to break your battery door. Snip off the excess. Attach the camera with the Velcro straps then place the battery door back onto the tarantula. Now let's go try out the new landing gear and camera mount. Okay, we'll hover here for a minute. Let's take it back down.
and let's test out those new landing skids and see how we can handle landing. Oh, not a problem. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, and let's try one more landing here. Not bad, she seems to handle really well. Now let's go ahead and take off and see what that camera view looks like. extremely well on a grass surface. Well, let's try another landing down over here. Back on the baseball field. Oh, fighting some wind. Let's take it down and see if we can do another landing down here on the baseball field. Perfect. Now let's go again and see some of that more of that camera angle. in the sun there, but perfect landing. I'm just gonna push it out of the breeze, and we'll let the breeze bring it back here.
probably getting bored, but we'll fly around for a minute or so here. Just to take a look and see. We are getting our battery warning lights there. Okay, let's take it down for a landing. Smooth, I mean the camera mount, we'll see how that looks with a picture on it, but the actual landing gear, they seem to handle extremely well. Um, for being something that's 3D printed, it's something that should be able to stand up for quite a beating, but it won't be something that's permanent. So if you have yourself a 3D printer, you'll be able to go ahead and make one of these, 